Greetings and welcome back to Staxel. I'm Catherine of Sky, and we left off exactly where we uh, were in the last episode. We have all of our crops planted and things are looking really nice. So I think what would be really good is if we could plan a place for our barn. Now, we have a couple of options. We can build a very... <laughs> interesting, very basic barn that just has a roof, um, or we could build a proper barn. Now I'm kind of more inclined to build a proper barn, but it's going to take a long time to gather the materials and such. Um, but I think we have the barn placement sign. Here it is. We're going to get that out and, um, and place this where we want it to go. Now I'm thinking there's a fenced in area over here. Um, and I'm thinking we could put the barn kind of around this area maybe have the chicken coops or other pens in here have all the animals kind of in this very nice kind of enclosure we already have the fencing for all of this so it seems like a really convenient place to put them so let's go ahead and put our barn sign around we need to make sure it's rotated correctly now what I've learned is you don't have to have this sign um, like the squarish part that it's uh, generating is not all of the barn. You can make it a bigger than that, smaller than that. So you don't have to actually go on those outlines. Um, but we want to have it, give it a place where we can, um, this is actually perfect right there, I think. All right, we're going to have it right there. Now, the sign must remain. So we're going to build around the sign. Uh, this is something that I learned. <laughs> so let's break these rocks, first of all, um, or at least the one rock. Where's my hammer? There it is. Okay, we'll pick that up. I like that other big rock right there. And I think we'll have the entrance to the barn maybe on this side, or should we have it on? Well, you know what? We'll have it to the left of the sign. Um, and then the rest of the building we can go back there. I love the flowers here. So we're trying not to chop all those down here, but we do want to get rid of some of this grass um, just because it's going to be in the way when, we, when we're actually building stuff. Um, and we're going to use the scythe. You can, I think you can get it with the pickaxe maybe. Um, oh, we can plant uh, seeds. Let's plant these seeds right now. There we go. So they can start growing. Um, yeah, so we're going to clear a little bit of this area out and then kind of put the foundations. Now, I'm not sure whether I, I should we do a quick barn. I don't really want to do a quick barn. I want to do a normal barn. Um, so yeah, we can, we have our chicken. I don't know if we actually need the chicken coop, uh, but we do need a feeding area for the chicken. Um, and we may even need a house because the cat needs a house, right? So what we can do is we can start by placing the blocks here. It's quite easy uh, to put them down here. And I think we need two blocks for the entrance of the thing. All right, let's take this barn back this way. I'm just kind of doing the outlines here. Uh, should I go all the way to the fence? I kind of think I should, because why not? In fact, we could probably take the fence upward, like just pick it up um, instead of having the fence there. We could have the barn form the back part of this fenced in area, but I don't think we need to do that at the moment. Or we could just make a small barn and have like, we need room for the troughs. And I think the troughs are two in length. So we could have them here, the space, and then we could have, let's build a small, small barn. Okay. Because they are quite expensive wood wise to build. And we can always uh, extend it later. I think that's a better idea. Okay. Let's get our hammer. Boom, boom. Okay. That's not, I like how it picks up those things quite easily. Um... All right, let's go with this. We'll go like this way. Make a small barn. Now the barn has to have various things. And we're going to look at the sign so you can see exactly how it determines this. All right, we need a roof, any blocks, and they're all missing. <laughs> we need two troughs and two are missing. So let's, uh, we just need to keep on building this. I think we need to build it um, at least three blocks high with a one block overhead for the doorway. Now, I don't think you need a doorway or anything. Apparently, you can build this with like a few columns and the roof, and that's it. But I want to build a barn that actually looks like a barn. So we're going to do that. But it's quite simple to place the blocks down. You can't like click and drag, unfortunately. I, well, maybe you can. No, you can't. Okay, it's all good. 
Uh, finds the hammer. Yep. Okay, let's pick this one up. But yeah, I because we're going to have cows and they need a place to stay. But we also are going to need the troughs, right? Because this is something that we need um, as a requirement here. So let's go and... Uh, Oh my gosh, I forgot the layout of the village. <laughs> I, I played my other game for a long time. And so, um, yeah, it's more natural to think of the other village. Let's talk to Leif. Hi, how you doing? I often feel a bit homesick. Comes and goes. I miss feeling leaves beneath my feet or sleeping under the protective canopy of the trees. Aw, poor suffering guy. Well, that's very sad. Sometimes he has missions for us when he's at his... Um, you know, inside and, uh, um, well, I mean, anytime you talk to people, uh, they have missions. And I think the guy who works in the pub has, he knows where, when the missions, who has a mission for you, like find this for me, please. One time I even found an item on the ground before I got the mission, which was very entertaining to me. But anyway, we are here because we're looking for the workshop. There we go. I was like, wait, where are we going with this? Okay, here is the workshop, right. Um, right, so what we wanna do, to make the trough, we have a recipe, okay? And they are here, let's see, we've got lumber pickets, dark wood flooring. We don't have the trough recipe. Is uh, Aliza here? She must be gone. Okay, they've all gone home. My fault for going coming too late. Um, so that's not great. Let's get out our bug net just in case we find anything. But yeah, it's almost sleepy time. Oh, there's Aliza, hi. Ready to learn the ways of the master builder? It's actually pretty easy. All you need is three things, ingredients, a blueprint or recipe, and crafting stations. The stations you need to get the barn done are all set up in the building store already. Feel free to borrow them anytime. Just don't try to run off with them. <laughs> okay, when structures get vandalized, well, we ain't gonna be using them till they're fixed. So anyway, this blueprint will show you how to make the basic trough for the barn. I suspect you already know how to make a few more basic blocks though. You need to use the blueprint in order to memorize it. Then you can find it again anytime in the blueprint tab of your inventory. I'll give you a moment to do that. Talk to me again when you're all set. Okay, so this is another tutorial thing. Let's memorize the blueprint. Talk to Elise again. With that out of the way, it's just a case of putting the bits and pieces together. Each step in the blueprint uses a particular type of crafting station. If you need to saw something, a saw bench will do that for you. And then the assembly bench, and then there's a um, tiling bench as well in there. You want to set the items down on the left side of the station, the final result you take from the right. Interacting with the middle of the station will usually set it going. Okay, so we're getting hay bales and nails. This, these will cover the items you need to make the trough. Start by using the saw bench in the building store to make some lumber. If memory serves, the barn needs a couple of troughs, some walls, and a roof. Once you have all the parts, go finish off that barn. I'm sure I don't have to remind you how to build a good structure. Just put down some blocks to make four nice walls. Make sure you don't forget the door or you might run into some problems. Then cover it with a solid roof uh, to keep the blocks out of the rain. Oh my god, time passes while we're talking? Go, go, go. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, fine, fine. <laughs> We can look at that later. What I want to do is set up the, the wood on the uh, saw because we can have it run overnight. So we're going to get this wood and put that on the saw, set it going. Aha. And this will make lumber all night for us. Otherwise we have to wait for it. So here we have one piece, two pieces. Let's see how much we get overnight. <laughs> Yay. All right. It's spring four. And, um, all right, the merchants sell new clothes. Change clothes at any wardrobe. Okay, let me get my spreadsheet up as well while we're waiting for this thing. Okay. Oops, there we go. Press space to continue. All right, so it's day four. I really need on my spreadsheet to just put, like, how much... Oh, it didn't, didn't go further? Okay, that's fine. Um, so we're going to look at this blueprint while that thing is still going. Um, one thing that confused me is that it says something like um, the saw goes automatically, but it's faster if you do it yourself. I don't know how to do it myself. I've tried to figure this out, like whether you click it, because all you can do is restart or stop it with the mouse buttons. So anyway, right. Well, let's look at this blueprint for the trough, where it, which is, which is where, here it is, empty trough, right. Six lumber, two fine lumber, um, three nails, hay bale, 
um, and then we process all this stuff. We need two troughs. So we're going to need, most importantly, two fine lumber. And this is kind of similar to like auto knots where um, if you put the regular lumber through the machine again, it will kind of resaw it into, into other stuff. So let's get, okay, fine lumber costs two lumber to make. We're gonna pin this, which I love this thing that you can, you can pin this on the right there. So I'm gonna grab, let's stop this for now. We're gonna pick this up, we're gonna pick up this and I wanna get the lumber. Um, here. Okay, we need, let's put, put the lumber on the machine. We need to get back home and water stuff, by the way, because I, I, I don't wanna forget by the end of the day. All right, so we're gonna need four fine lumber. Okay, there it goes. So we're gonna wait till it says four. There's three, and then four. Okay, stop, 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 please stop. Thank you. I'm gonna pick up this and then we're gonna go and keep on sawing these guys. All right, so we should have enough stuff to start making a trough. So let's put this stuff on the assembly table. That's the hay bale, we got nails in there. It's marked with a T. No, I guess that's a diagram of nails. Um, let's see what else we have. We need the regular lumber as well. Oh, we have exactly six. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you put extra stuff on there it will automatically pick the recipe. So we're gonna right click and say craft. Okay, and then it leaves the extra materials we have. So we're gonna pick this up. So we have one trough. We can also pick up this lumber here, please. Thank you. And we'll put that down as well. Let's put that down here. Is it still sawing? Go, please go. Um, and so we're gonna make another one. So we have two empty troughs now. We're gonna pick up this lumber and uh, that's pretty much what we're gonna do. We can also make, let's put these guys down there. Um, yeah, that's good. So we have a little bit of lumber. We'll put the lumber back down here because this is just a building material. And um, we can make other things like blocks for, well, can we? We can make wooden plank blocks, white picket fence, rough wooden fence, Dark wooden plank flooring, no, no we can't. We can also make stuff with stone. Uh, so we can, if we mine some raw stone, we can go and make some of these roof tiles, uh, which is gonna be nice. But otherwise, we're gonna need to actually buy a blueprint for making certain things. Captor crates, ranch stairs, bookcase, chicken feeders, brown wood block, that sounds pretty darn good to me. Um, though I think there's a cheaper recipe Rope fence, seed sign, yellow dot carpet, classic wood block. That's the one we need for 80. So we're gonna leave this going. Nobody's gonna steal this from us. Um, and we really can't do much with the lumber until we, um, oh, it's raining, how lucky. Um, we can't do much with the lumber out of that store. We need to buy stuff from the store. So anyway, um, all right, let's go see our farm, how it's doing. Should be just fine. I don't think we have anything uh, harvestable today. So we're going to focus probably on catching butterflies. We can place those troughs that we just made, which will be good. Oh, pardon me. I had a minor sneeze. Now this here stuff looks very tempting to steal. It's like, should I take it? Take these blocks? But I don't want to because maybe this is going to be something cool in the future. So I don't, is there a cricket here? Sometimes there is. All right, let's walk home. All right, there's my cat. Happy cat. <clears throat> okay, and stuff is growing. And we can right click on this and say, ah, it's growing healthily. Um, these, uh, these guys are doing good. Getting a lot of stuff. Hi, Bella. Bella's happy. Meow. Even though her food bowl is empty, she is not desiring food. So we're not gonna give her any more food. Um, where's our, that rock? I'm gonna just put the rock down so it's out of my inventory. That's fine. Okay. And I guess we can pro we could go and harvest some stone actually. There's these mountains very nearby, uh, which we could which we could harvest. Like we could just take down this little hill here. Let's see. 
Oh, we should probably place those troughs too. Oh, there's so much to do. Do I have a pickaxe? Oh my God, I don't have a pickaxe. All right, so that's gonna <laughs> that's gonna necessitate some bug hunting uh, before we can get any of that done. Uh, so let's look for some bugs. I'm gonna look for these um, those rhino beetles. And apparently, I've also read on the forums that they can hide really high up in the trees. So we're gonna try to hunt them down a little bit, get them going. Oh my gosh, there's a bee. Hooray. Okay. This is a regular worker bee. That is amazing. So we're going to keep bees and queen bees. Worker bees and queen bees are very important to keep both of them. Uh, don't sell them at all because we want to have start an apiary, uh, which is basically where bees live and you can collect the honey. I'm like using the mountain to look up into the, the trees here. Are there any in these flowers? Okay, no, not really. There's an acorn down there. There's so much going on in each area. It's like you have to kind of stop and look and it's like, okay, I'm looking high now, now I'm looking low. It's just, there's so much. Oh, and somebody also said they found them when it was raining. So today is a great um, day to look for those rhino beetles. But yeah, I like how you know, things are integrated, like the, like catching the bees. You have to catch the bee to have, you know, to start an apiary. You, you do have to catch the queen bee. I'm not sure if you can buy one. You might be able to buy one from the, um, uh, from the catalog, but of course the catalog is quite a long way away in terms of, uh, stuff. Okay. I don't see it there. Um, because the catalog costs 2,500 petals and there's a shipping station, which is, I guess it's like a big mailbox or something. Um, and that's also 2,500. I didn't quite get that far in my other playthrough. Um, so we'll have to see, but I, you know, we would like to start ideally before that, I'd like to start having an apiary and stuff before that time. I am not seeing any bugs at all. I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> I probably missed stuff, but there's so much to look at. So, um, anyway, it's okay. It's a thing. I also might be going over the territory I went last time, uh, which is not ideal because, you know, the bugs don't necessarily respawn every day. So it's wise to kind of vary your, uh, your directions of where you go. So we're, we're actually quite far. Wow. Very far. Um, from the house. So we can keep on going this way. Yeah, we've actually been this way because remember that tree by the the thing is there. So we're just going to go this way, I think. Kind of look for bugs around here. Man, I'd love to find a queen bee. Um, but yeah, we do need to find those rhino beetles. They're very important for fishing. If we want to fish, we got to have rhino beetles or a catalog. Because with the catalog, we can order rhino beetles and they're cheap. But it's much more uh, satisfying to catch it yourself, I think. Sometimes it's good to stop every now and again and just like look for movement. Of course, now we have the rain giving us lots of movement. Just kind of looking at the upper branches or upper trunks. Oh, hi. Yay. All right, we caught something. That's good. That's very good. And uh, yeah, we want to buy a pickaxe. I think that's probably our next purchase at the store. Do I have extra cat food? I do. Okay, good. Um, also, the thing is, I don't want to start having the chicken out because you got to feed the chicken too. Um, every animal that you put out needs to be fed every day, and that's a huge expense, especially when we don't have our oh, two monarch butterflies. How tasty! Oh, so good. 120 each. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, all the animals have to be fed and it is quite expensive. Oh my God, an orchid mantis. Yay. Nice. And we've got a cricket, which is cool. Bugs, where are you? It's kind of interesting. The way I look for stuff is like tuning my eyes for the colors usually. Um, but there's so many things to look at. Like there are mushrooms that are white and there's some that are brown. Um, so it's really hard to look for everything at once. That's for sure. Let's go see over here. I think, yeah, that other area where we're just kind of had gone over from the day before, so we couldn't find anything. Just 
Still no rhino beetles. Come on, rhino beetles. We need you. But yeah, we can go definitely on the bug catching expedition. Maybe um, on the next day we should go for shells instead of bugs. Go on some part of the shore that we hadn't collected from yet uh, to collect things to, to sell and basically build up our, um, our collection of petals, i.e. money. Um, nothing? Really? Oopsies. Come on. There's another one here. Still no beetles. Um, yeah, there we go. One day, I hope we can plant trees. That would be really nice. Oh, here's a cricket. Nice. I have to say, I really find it difficult to, to see the, bu the, the ground uh, bugs. I noticed that when I looked in my collections tab, I had found almost every single flying insect, but very, very few ground insects. There's like a scorpion that I hadn't seen and other stuff. Of course, a rainy day is probably not the best day to go bug hunting because normally the whole screen is fairly still. Wow. Here we got two crickets. I keep trying to collect it with the right click, so you have to actually catch it with the bug net. Uh, anyway, uh, with all the raindrops falling, it makes it a lot harder to, to see things um, in that way, so... But, on the other hand, maybe those beetles come out with the rain. Somebody mentioned that they caught them in the rain, so... Alright, and we got the monarch butterfly again. Okay. Oh, hello! Look what we found! These are, looks like mines. I wonder if there's an entrance. Oh, there's the entrance! Oh, let's look, let's look, let's go in. Now, the mines are kind of claustrophobic, I have to admit. But we're going to try to do our best. Alright, here we go. So the mines are kind of a new feature, I understand. And uh, they're kind of cool. So I guess, I don't know if we just like go through here and start digging or what. Um, but yeah, there's there's definite options and there's another place down that way. The last mine I, I went in, I almost got lost. <laughs> but the good thing is, is that you can kind of... You see, there's a corridor down that way, and there's, there's a place down this way. Lots of stuff in here. So that's something... Well, we don't even have a pickaxe right now, so that's something we definitely need to, to get. Hello, how do I get out of here? Oh, there we go. Okay, stairs. A. All right, let's work our way home. Where is home? Oh, actually, we're quite close. We are very close. What is that place in the forest? I'm looking for bugs. Looking for all the things. Those darn beetles. Probably will be the death of me. Um, but we'll try not to die because of beetles. Because that would just be a shame. Really a shame. This is a good vantage point for high branch looking. Oh, there's a bug. No beetles, but a bug. Nonetheless, a pink butterfly, I think. There we go. Nice. These trees are kind of interesting. Oh, hello. I could probably also chop some trees while we're here. Just a couple of them. Whack. Just thin them out, maybe a little bit. Oh, there's a there's a bug over there too. Alright, we got oh, star jelly gatherer. Alright. Star jellies are interesting. I don't know what the heck they are. They grow on trees um, on the sides of them. Um, and I'll see if I can find one. But um, they're fairly rare as far as I've seen. And um, I, But I don't know their functions. I haven't sold any. But they do sell for quite a high price. I have noticed that for sure. So there's an acorn. Hmm. Oh, butterfly. Yay. Bees. Any bees? The bees are quite hard to see because they're very tiny. Alright, it's getting close to night. I think we'll leave that one place. 
was that place? I lost it. I I went right by it, apparently. Is that the... Let's go find and figure out what that is. This is really cool. I'm literally moving on the map. Um, and it's I like that way of navigation. I think it's super cool. There we go. Oh, okay. It's like an abandoned house because it's quite dilapidated. Um, it just has a chair and it's got some wood bits. I suppose we could steal the wood bits if we wanted to. But I don't like destroying stuff in the world. All right, let's go go to town here and sell some of these nice uh, bugs that we've caught. Hopefully we're gonna have enough money. We should have enough money to buy a pickaxe for sure. Um, and maybe enough to buy some more seeds. But the thing is we don't have a lot of time, so let's just sell what we can. Oops, I forgot I still have my troughs in here. So here's a star jelly. I'll show you how much it costs. Um, but yeah, it's pretty interesting. Oh, come on. Oh, God. Okay, come on. There we go. I really wish there was a faster way of selling things. So it's worth 210 for one. I think we'll sell it because, well, we'll find some later, I'm sure. But, you know, for now, we can definitely use that money. Uh, we're going to keep our bee. Like I said, very, very valuable, the bees. Okay, we now have 1166 money wise. I want to go and get that. Um, where where am I going? Go this way? Ah, oh, this way. Okay. I want to get the pickaxe first. And uh, then we can maybe buy some seeds at the store too. All right. So pickaxe. There's an axe, shovel, pickaxe. There we go. Need one of those. We can also buy seeds at this store. Um, it's going to be a red packet. Onion, sweet potatoes. Oh, shoot, I fell asleep. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, yep, placing seeds and picking up items can hold down can hold down the action button. That's pretty good. Yep. Okay, it's day five. Coconut trees. Right, sweet potatoes. I'm going to buy... Yeah, there we go. Oh, that was interesting. Okay, let's go. We have... Where do we go? This way. Aha! I lost my farm for a moment there. <laughs> Alright, we have a bug we can catch. And today we're going to have to water stuff, so that's important. Yeah, those star jellies I, co I commonly find on the pine trees rather than these sort of big oak-like looking ones. Okay, so we have things happening. We have nothing ready to harvest. Oh my god, what is this? Is that a flower? Is that like a sunflower? Oh, I've never seen one before. It looks so pretty. That was one of the wild seeds I think we got. Hi, Bella. How you doing? Bella's hungry. Oh, let's feed Bella. Um, here. Get our troughs out as well. Let's feed our cat. There you go. Oh, cat runs for food. Good cat. Excellent cat. And we're going to place these seeds. Oh, I... Sorry, I didn't realize it was something there. Okay, plant 50 seeds achievement. Okay, that's cool. Come on. I said number one. There we go. There we go. All right. Um, I guess I'll just do it. Just row after row kind of thing. Excuse me, Bella. Just like a real cat gets underfoot <laughs> quite often. Come on. There we go. Okay, very nice. Okay, so let's water these guys. Yeah, the farming takes quite a long time. I'm really glad that there are other activities, um, like, you know, harvesting bugs, because that's pretty necessary at this point. Oh, my troughs. Why did they... I wonder why they got out of my inventory. I don't recall dropping them. I wonder if I pressed the wrong key. I wonder if there's, there must be a drop key. Because I have lost tools before, and I wonder if I was just accidentally hitting at the drop key. What? There's not one in the first square. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, sigh. Okay, fine. 
Okay, troughs. I'm gonna put these, oh, they're three long, whoops. Okay, well, we'll put it here. There we go. Okay, so our troughs are there. All right, simple door, oh, simple barn, okay. Roof, any blocks, we don't have any of those. I should have saved the money for making the barn, but it's okay because we have lots more profit growing in our garden, which is a good, good thing. Okay, cat, what do you want to do today? Bella is happy. I'm so glad Bella is happy. I think we can probably, um, the thing about early game is it feels like bug hunting is, pro oh my God, I have a bee in my own garden. Um, bug hunting really is the way that you do a lot of stuff to get money. So I'm going to try to vary my, um, my activities during the day. So hopefully the audience, you guys don't get bored. Um, so we're going to try to do different things, but if you want to min max, you will want to just bug hunt a lot. Okay. Let's get our pickaxe out. I think I want to just take some off here. Okay. There we go. Got some raw stone. Okay. That's good. That's very cool. I like that. So we're going to go probably to the top of the mountain here to get more of this stone. Cool. What if I go underneath this thing? Oh, it still comes off. That's nice. Oh my God. I have it. There's this funky trough now. We've got 17 raw stone. That seems like a good amount. I really like that there's no stamina in this game. So you don't have to worry about running out of stamina. It's very helpful. Okay, so that's stone. Let's get rid of maybe this pillar as well. Just so we have enough for the long term. There we go. And collect. I love that it collects like a whole bunch. I think the only better variation would be it automatically collects stuff for you. I kind of would love automatic. Oh, oh, look what I see in the distance. It's a queen bee. Look, she has a crown. Oh, we're so lucky. Okay, boom. We caught a queen bee. <laughs> this is so good. This is really excellent. This is a good, good thing. All right, so last time we went, I think we went to the left. We can go to the right this time though. Okay, so we got stuff. We did things. That's good. Um, we need to get some more bugs so we can have money. Let's put the queen bee down here so that she will not get sold accidentally. We'll put these building materials down here as well. That is so lucky. Hooray. I am excited about that. Um, so the apiary is around 750 or 800 petals, something like that, uh, as I recall. So we're going to look for bugs. I thought I saw something moving. No? Okay. Darn it. Is that? No, it was just a little glitch. Okay. All right. We're still looking. <laughs> or, oh, we could go to this. We could go and go on the beach. I forgot about the beach option. Let's go to the beach and uh, harvest some shells, I think. That seems like it would be a good idea. So we see anything around here. There's a there's a fire uh, a thing over there. Oh, a mantis. Hello. Whoops. I keep pressing the wrong button. Hello, moth. Greetings. Anything else? Oh, I thought that was a bug up there, but it's just a gap. Hmm. The rhino beetle. I'm looking for those darn rhino beetles. It's like our quest for the millennium. Rhino beetles. Ooh. All right. There's one. I, I have literally looked for them for hours. 
<laughs> so <laughs> it is a real struggle. Um, but it's okay. We'll find one eventually. Um, or maybe when they buff the spawn rate. <laughs> oh my god, the bit beach is littered with items today. Uh, let's go this way. There's a whole bunch of stuff over here. So basically we're just going and collecting the things that we need here. Oops, let's get this bit of coral. I'm just holding down right click um, so we don't have to like click everything. Ooh, a star, sea star. Starfish they call. Sometimes I forget the names of simple things. It's okay. That's what happens when one's brain is just going. Okay, here's a little swirly snail or shell. Seaweed, yay. I wonder if seaweed is going to be used in cooking. Maybe some form of sushi or, um, I don't know, something else. Seaweed soup, maybe, or I don't know. I'm keeping it, uh, nonetheless, because it seems like a valuable thing to have for cooking. Because as you see, it is not very prevalent on the beach. These other shells and things seem to make up more of the quantities we see of stuffs. So... There's a bit of seaweed over there. So we'll go hunting these things. So anyway, once you get the quest for the barn and you start doing it, you can then go to town and ask the other people about their quests. So there's going to be a quest from, from the gal, I can't remember her name, <laughs> to do like build a fishing pier. So we're going to have to decide where we want to have our fishing pier. And I forgot, oh, there's a bug here. Hello, bug. Thank you. Maybe this is a lucky bug zone. Oh, this is a lucky bug zone. God. I should look in the trees. Hello, rhino beetle. Are you here? Are you here? Where are you? This is a lucky bug zone, we've decided. They kind of look like ladybugs, except they're green. Which are interesting, because I've not... I've seen rhino beetles, at least Asian ones, and they're like pitch black. But it would be very hard to see a pitch black bug on uh, on these trees, that's for sure. I could... Let's just chop down this tree. Whack. Boom. I was hoping I'd get a bug from that. Okay, that's alright though. Bugs, where are you? Hmm. Okay. Well, that's okay. We will just keep on going and uh, see what, what else we can find. Let's try to go home, or in a homeward direction anyway. Uh, there's our mountain. Wow, we're way, way away. But that's okay. The thing about going home is there is a warp function, which you can use. It's in the menu here. Teleport home. And I believe that's just free of cost of any kind, uh, which is pretty handy. You can just warp home and call it good and life is better and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah. Good stuff. There's the mountain... There we go. Oh, there's a butterfly. Hey. Tree beetles, where are you? Hello. Whoa, what is that purple thing? I found something. What is that? I don't know what that is. Is that a star thing? I think so. I think that's a star jelly uh, at the top of that. All right, let's cut down the tree. <laughs> Just be like horrible and cut down the whole tree. Just for the star jelly, right? Oh, I moved the mouse at the last second. It was inconvenient. We did get the star jelly, which is nice. All right, let's get the wood. Nice. Okay, chop 100 raw wood. So there you could see the star jelly. I've only seen them kind of on the lower branches of trees before, but maybe that's 
because I wasn't looking at the upper branches. <laughs> it could be too. Um, so it looks like they could be anywhere, those darn things. Um, but anyway, I have been very selective about chopping trees because as I said in the first video, they don't respawn yet, uh, which uh, is a bit of a problem, especially if you get to end game. So oh, we need to get our directions back again. Farm this way. So there we go. But um, yeah, we're going to try to use that mod where we can plant trees from tree seeds and get wood that way. Because uh, I do love the natural landscape. I think it's so pretty. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I thought it was another queen bee. <laughs> it's just my cat. Just my cat. Which is a very nice cat. I love my cat. It's all good. All right, we're going to sell stuff again. And uh, maybe we can buy an apiary if we have enough uh, money. So here's Eris. Hi, Eris. Whoa, nearly ran over you right there. You must be new around here. I'm Eris. Skateboards and bugs are my thing. Be up sometime. You know what would be perfect right now? A huge sandwich with all the trimmings. Okay, so you're not going to tell me anything about stuff. Who's behind me? Oh, Leaf. Okay. That's fine. I think there's a firefly we could sell. Hey, firefly. How you doing? Fireflies don't sell for much, but that's okay. Every little bit helps, like, in the beginning of, um, the farm. Okay. Let's go and sell things. The mantis. I love those orchid mantises. If you have not looked up an orchid mantis online, you should. They're really funky cool. They look like real orchids. And I, I actually grow orchids. And I was like, wow, those look so cool. Um... I was like, neat. So, anyway. Tis good. All kinds of good. Alright, let's put these guys over here. He's a little bit in order. I like to have as many things on my hot bar as I can. Oopsies. And we need to have... I think we'll have enough to get an apiary. And uh, I'll show you the thing with the apiary. Because it does require some time to set up. A firefly. Okay, I just I got my bees down there. Do not want to sell the bees at all. Okay. There's fireflies, they're very cheap. This thing going. And it's almost time to go to sleep. It's kind of interesting because initially there's a huge like busyness period and then later it's it's more like you're waiting for your crops to grow and stuff like that because I think the, the bug hunting does get a little bit tiresome over time I keep losing the direction here okay that's where we want to go all right we've got 1258 money wise I think we need to buy cat food and do we have cat food yeah we need to buy cat food and the apiary so cat food okay apiary oh I wish it was like brighter in here these are the chicken kitchen counters. I think the there is the apiary. Okay, it's six ninety. Wow, it's cheaper than I thought. Um, and then cat food. There's the pet food right there. I'll buy two cat foods. And um, all right, so we got our apiary. This is great. And technically, I guess we could find get a couple more seeds. Beetroots. No potatoes. Sweet potatoes. There we go. Uh, oh, I forgot. Uh, I spent all the money again. Damn. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. I meant to save some money for buying uh, the pattern for making more wood blocks. All right. Let's see if we can get home and place this AP. You know what? We'll place it tomorrow. It's okay. And we'll place the seeds tomorrow as well. Put the cat food here. Get this. Um, put the seaweed on the shelf inside. Oh my goodness. It's so dark in here. I need to get some lights. All right, let's just go to sleep. All right. Okay. Pat your animals every day. It's spring six. So, um, it's getting there. Okay, great. Um, let's get out of bed. Leap along and do the next day. Okay, we have stuff happening. We have some things that are happy to grow. How are you doing, Bella? You're doing okay? Look at that. All right. So this is not done. Sunflowers here. Well, that's the other random sunflower I got. 
These guys are still growing. Those ideally should be planted on the very first day of the month. All right, let's get these guys to grow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, three, four, five, and six. The other thing I wanna make uh, yeah, we need to we need to also get a chopping station because that's going to be very important as well. Oh, hello, bug. Whoopsies. Go away. Come on, let's go this way. So much distraction here. All right, I'm going to place the apiaries and then we're going to probably end the episode because it's getting kind of around that time. So let's place our apiary because we kind of did the whole thing in this episode. So, okay, that's the right side. Okay. And if you right click on it, it says this apiary needs a queen bee. All right, we happen to have a queen bee and we have some worker bees. So here's the thing with the apiaries. You place the queen bee, okay. And then it says the queen is rallying bees, zero of 10. Now I believe she finds like one bee per day, but you can add some bees to make that go faster. So we already have two of 10 bees. So this is why it's so, so important. Otherwise, you know, we, we would have just wasted another two days waiting for those bees to, to be coming in. So this is really great. So anyway, I think this is a good stopping place for now. Our crops are looking fantastic. We have like maybe one or two more days for these sweet potatoes. And uh, then we can harvest them and then we can make lots and lots of money. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.